You don't. Never mind. Why is that arithmetic? Let's start off today. How do I know that sequence I just wrote up on the board is arithmetic, arithmetic, whatever you guys are calling it? It's going to be fun. 15. Thank you. It goes up by the same value. They're all good. Here's what I'm going to introduce. I'm going to introduce this word today. Series. That is when you take your sequence and add them up. Okay, so that's a sequence. Ready for the series? 3 plus 9 plus 15 plus 21. That is a series. When you add up a certain amount of terms in a sequence, we call that answer the series. And you'll see why, where this comes into play right now. Uh, all right, let me introduce you to our new buddy here. Probably you've only seen those on frat and sorority houses, huh? All right, well, it is a Greek symbol. Anybody know that Greek symbol in the alphabet? No, sigma. It's called sigma. It's not really important that you know that. It's important how you evaluate it. Sigma. Everyone see the number on the bottom? K equals three. And everybody see... What's to the right side also has a K in it. This is substitution. You're going to start with the bottom number and substitute it in to the right side first. Let me know what you get. So you're going to go 2 times 3 plus 1. And what do we end up getting? What number? 7. seven. That's the first term in our sequence right now. Ready? Is 7. How do I get more terms? What's the top number on the sigma? Eight. So this is going to tell me you're going to plug in all, all numbers from three to eight. All right, so we just plugged in three. What do I plug in next? Not eight, but four. Yes, I plug in three, four, five, six, seven, then eight. And I should have a list of numbers here. So we plugged in three, now plug in four. Plug in 4, 2 times 4 plus 1. What's the next term in the sequence? 9? Yes. Everyone's getting 9 out. Good. Yeah. All right. I plugged in 3. I plugged in 4. Now you plug in 5 and keep going. Eleven. Plug in six. Thirteen. Plug in seven. Fifteen. And then finally plug in eight. Seventeen. So here are the terms in the sequence. Now the sigma, and here's the difference today. The sigma, add them together. All right, the sigma is the series. Add these, add this sequence together. Okay, sigma tells me add them together. So that we're finding the series for this sequence. And that is our final answer. So we end up with 72. 72. So find the terms in the sequence, add them together. All right, next one. What's the first number I'm going to plug in? Zero. Zero. So make sure you put two, and just type it in your calculator like it looks on your paper. Two, parentheses three, raised to the zero. So my first term is two. Now what number are you going to plug in? You plugged in zero. Good. Now you plug in. You plug in all numbers from zero to four, right? So we plugged in zero. Now you plug in one. Then you plug in two, 
three, then four. Everyone getting six for their next turn. Eighteen for the next. Fifty four. And then when you plug in four, you should get a final term of buck sixty two. Two forty two. All good. Not bad. Time consuming, but not bad. What's the what's uh, new with three, huh? What's new with number three? Two plus, right? So think about how it's written. All I'm gonna do is go two plus whatever number I get when I'm done with that. That's it. That's all that means. Two plus whatever number I get when I add up everything with that sigma. All right, so even if you want to start, hey, even start it out, put that two right there so you don't forget about it. Two plus, now do the sigma. What's the first number you plug in? One, One for n, yep. And we get out, everyone getting 10 out when you plug in one for n? Yep. Is it bad if you just combine it into 12? It's up to you. I just, Aaron, I just don't want you adding two to every term you find. That's oh, not what, not no, bad. that's not what this is. This is two plus whatever your answer is for that sigma. Okay. It's not two plus every term, all right? Make sure we're good there. It's two plus whatever you get out from that sigma. Uh, what else are we get here? Seven for the next term. Four. And then the last term. Should be one when you plug in four. All right, there you go. And just make sure you add two to your result. What are we looking at there? Twenty four. Are you comfortable doing this by hand? Before I let you in on a secret. Are you comfortable doing this by hand? Writing them all out? Okay. Sorry to do all that to you. But it is important that you know how to do it by hand. Grab your calculator. And can you go alpha window? For me see anything there no. your calculator has a Sigma built into it okay your calculator has a Sigma built into it alpha window number two it'll do all this for you all right it'll do all of it for you in one step you just got to make sure you plug everything in correctly so for this next one here, let's use the calculator. Now, do I need to use the variable K? No, if, but if you're gonna use X, make sure it's X all the way throughout. Okay, if you're gonna use X, make sure it's X all the way throughout. So I go K equals three for number four here, all the way to five. K squared, or if you're using X, use X plus K. Enter and hey, thank you, calculator.
All good? Before I give you bad news now. That's a half and half here. That's great news. I can use my calculator. Bad news, you can't use it for every signal. Look at five. Anything different from five than the previous four we've already done? <coughs> well, we've had a number out in front. Well, okay, we got a three out in front, but we can handle that. Two Thank you, man. Two variables, right? Unfortunately, bad news, your calculator doesn't do two variables. It will only do one. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So that's why it's important to know how to do it by hand, because at least we can fall back on that. So what's the first number I'm plugging in? Two, but for what variable? Okay, so X is just going to stay X. I'm going to have an X in my answer. So I'm going to take two, plug it in for K. Everyone ready? I'll put that four on the outside so I don't forget about it. Go ahead. Three times two. Six minus three X. I got to distribute the three, right? Everyone see how I got six minus three X. I plug two in for K and distribute the three. What's the next number you're plugging in for K? Three. Plug in three, everybody, and distribute the three. Nine minus, again, 3x. Distribute that 3 every time. So now I'm going 4. Plus 12 minus 4x. 3x, right? It should be 3x every time. And then finally, I have to plug in 5 and end up with 15 minus 3x. And now you got to take your time, take your time, and combine all the like terms. And we should have ended up with 46 minus 12x or negative 12x plus 46. That's honestly, that's where I need you to be. Make sure you can do a sigma with two variables. Speaking of two variables, one more sigma before I show you how we're going to use it in the unit. Can't use the calculator. Everyone see why it's got an A and an X. What variable am I plugging in for? Look at the bottom. X. X, right? X. So I'll do. We're gonna do this one together. What do you plug in for X first? Zero. All right. So where I see the X, I'm gonna plug in zero, and you got to go back to your algebra days here for me. Three minus two a all raised to the zero. Anybody remember anything raised to the zero? One. One. So this whole thing is just one, right? Okay. Anything raised to the zero is always one. So first term one. All right, let's go back. We just plugged in zero. What do you want me to plug in for X now? One. All right, use your algebra days now. Anything raised to the first? So this is gonna be what? It's three minus two A, it's itself. Everyone all right with our first two terms? Because the second one's gonna be a, uh, be tough, be a beast. Now what do you plug in? I plugged in zero, I plugged in one, now I'm gonna plug in. Ooh, how do you deal with that? It's not nine and you distribute it. I know how I take care of that when it's squared. Three minus two A times it's twice, times itself. And what am I going to do from here? Distribute. Double distribute. I don't like the word foil. Let's keep that out of our vocabulary, right? Distribute the three first and then distribute the negative two A. And let's see what we're working with.
All right, ready? Let's check each other here. Nine minus six A minus six A plus four A squared. So there are the three terms I'm adding up. Combine your like terms and uh, here we go. Nothing you can combine with the 4a squared. Let's see how many a's I have up here. Negative 14. And how many numbers? 13. There you go, guys. Okay, so we can handle these all right. I think we can handle because I'm going to show you why we need the sigmas now and how it relates to sequences. But we're good. All right, here we go. Now let's start adding up these arithmetic sequences. Uh, find the sum. How do I know that originally was an arithmetic sequence? How do I know that was originally an arithmetic sequence? 12, 19, 26. How do I know? Each go up by seven, the same amount. So that was a sequence, arithmetic sequence, but now I want to add them all together and tell me what it is and give me a series. The way we add an arithmetic sequence, if a sequence is arithmetic and you want me to add it up, we are going to have to build ourselves our own sigma. Okay. If you want to add an arithmetic sequence up, I don't have a fancy formula for you on the formula sheet. You will need to build your own sigma. Here we go. Let me give you some tips and tricks on how to build the correct one. First thing, the bottom one, always start at one. Always start with one. So whatever variable you pick, I'm gonna always use n equals one. Always start at one. The top number is how many terms you're adding. You may have to grind to figure that out, but the top number is how many terms you're adding. How many terms being added? So is it 10 terms, 12 terms, 20 terms? We're going to have to figure that out here. Okay. How many terms am I going to end up adding here? We're going to have to figure that out. And then what goes to the right side to plug in? Do you guys remember Wednesday and in your group yesterday, you found equations for the nth term? All right, we're going to have to review that again, but that's what's going to go here, the nth term equation, where n stays. Oh, my heart. We'll talk about it. So that's how you're building your sigma. One on the bottom, how many you're going to add together on top, and then the nth term equation on the side. Here we go for this one. First, let's find the nth term equation. Where's your, what's your formula we've been using off the formula sheet? I'm going back to your group assignment yesterday now. You guys could have done this in your group for me. An equals A1 plus N minus one times D straight off the formula sheet. You're sitting in your group yesterday. You say to yourself, N stays. Well, N stays what here? When I find the equation for the nth term, I never plug in for N. N stays N. So a n, what do we do for a one in this case? 12, 12 plus n minus one. just n, n stays n. And then you, know, you got to do a little work. It's already been said, but the common difference. You did this yesterday in your groups. Now clean it up, distribute the seven and add 12. Seven N plus five, there you go. Sorry. 
So here's what I have so far for this series. N equals one. I'm going to plug into seven N plus five. And now I got to figure out how many, of, how many terms am I adding here? Could you write it all out and count them? Sure. Is there some other way maybe I could find how many terms I'm adding? Based on all this work I've done here. I'm asking for 180 is what term? Is it the 10th? Is it the 20th, 21st, 32nd? I want to know where 180 falls in this sequence because that's how many terms I'm adding up. It's 25 terms. How'd you get it, Tim? Or did you just guess and check? Divide by subtracting 5 and divide by 7. What Tim's doing is, take a look, and this is the way to do it. He's taking the formula we just found and plugging in any term, specifically the last term here. And he wants, he's saying, hey, where does 180 fall in this equation? And he's solving for n. Great job, Tim. So if you ever want to find how many terms you're adding, take your last term and plug it into your equation. <clears throat> yep, minus 5 divided by 7. So, Tim, how many terms am I adding together? 25 terms. Yep. And that's my top number on my sigma. And thank goodness I showed you guys how to use the calculator because definitely I wouldn't have blamed you if all of you just quit on me if you had to do that out by hand, right? One to 25. So go ahead and use your calculator. And let's see what these uh, this sequence adds up to. Twenty four hundred. So all those numbers add up to twenty four hundred. If you need to add an arithmetic sequence, you have to build your sigma, and this is how we build it. Any issues? All right, I'm going to do one more because I'm not doing that word problem. I'll tell you why it's garbage. But eight's not garbage. Find the sum of an arithmetic series. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, got to build the sigma because I'm finding the sum of an arithmetic sequence. I know that's going to be n equals 1. Talk to me, please. Please talk to me. What's this telling us up there? Use your own words. Okay. Is it what's what do those mean up there? Aaron, what's anything mean to you up there? It's telling you to go to the 19th term. So I have 19 terms I'm adding. That's what it's telling me. Great. So guess what I already have? Top number. Top number. They're already telling me you have 19 terms to add together. Anything else you know? Can you guys kind of combine the first two and tell me something? And N's 19, A sub N is 154. What are this kind of telling you if you put it together? The 19th term is what? The 19th term is 154. Good. And I'm going by what? Eight. Eight. Yep. What's the only thing I'm missing from my sigma? We got to figure out together. Well, we got, oh, back up. I got in. What goes here? The equation, right? The nth term. Get your formula out. Let's see if, what we can do here. A n, a one plus n minus one times d. I tried to suck you guys into a trap here. You're writing the equation for the nth term. I got to plug here. What do you plug it in for a sub n? Amanda, or somebody said it here. A n. A n. N stays n. No, you didn't say that. At the end. He said nothing. You probably said everything, and then oh yeah, I said, I said that one. one. That guy. A n. N stays n. 
when you write the equa nth term equation. Uh-oh. Oh. Yikes. What don't we have? I don't have the first term, right? Because here's what I got. I got n stays n, and I know the d value is already 8, right? I don't have the first term to plug in. Can I get a little help? This is where I need you here. Aaron? If you could do 19 times 8 and then subtract it from 154. I don't know. Will that work? Yes. I'm not too sure. Maybe, maybe, let's see. See if it works at the end after we're done doing here. Now, could you, hey, you know the ninth, could you, how do you find the 18th term? Do what with eight? Subtract, right? Got subtract, and then the 17th term, it, we're going to be here for a while. You could do that, right? Keep subtracting eight till you get to the first term. Can I use this formula again to find the first term, right? I can use this formula again to find the first term. Or do you want to just keep subtracting? You guys tell me. You want to just keep subtracting eight till you get to the first term? You guys can just keep minus eight, minus eight, minus eight on your cap. I don't care. It's up to you. You can do that on your calculator till you hit your first term. No, you're shaking your head. No. Then we're going to have to use this formula again. That's the only other way around it. Okay. Remember we're solving for a one now because I need it. Now what you can put, can you plug in for a sub n? What other term do you know in the sequence other than the first? Which is? 154. 154 equals first term. What's your n value now if I just plugged in 154? 19 minus 1. D value is still 8. You choose. If you want to keep subtracting 8, guys, I have no issue with it. If you don't, we're going to have to use the formula again to find A1. So it wasn't 19 times 8. It was 18 times 8. You would have to do it. What was the... So I got a sum of what was the first term here? It's 10. 10? So there's A1. I go back and plug in 10. And now go ahead, clean up the uh, nth term equation, distribute 8 and add 10. What's that, 8n plus 2? And now I plug it in over here. And now you can use your calculator to find the sum. Is this one fifteen fifty eight? Anytime you add up an arithmetic sequence, we're going to build the sigma. And the reason I'm not doing number nine with you, look, the guy starts out with 20 weeks of training. He increases it by four. And you're looking for how many he, total miles he ran in eight weeks. Look, I expect everyone just to don't even bother using the sigma, right? Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, add it up. You know, maybe if I wrote down in 46 weeks of training, you we could build a sigma. But for that problem right there, I would just do that and add them up. 
turn to the next page real quick. One little tidbit about your calculator and using the sigma. Every, just take a look at that first problem right there I have for you. What's on the outside? Four or three times four to the K minus one. Is that a K or a K? K. All right. When you use your sigma on your calculator, please keep this in mind. Everyone see that parenthesis that they gave you? Everything must fit into that parenthesis. You cannot start building parentheses on your own on the outside. What am I talking about? On that first problem, take a look. You're going to write, what is it, three? Three. Now, I'm not going to go outside. you got to build it inside. Four raised to whatever it's raised to. Okay, so whatever parentheses the calculator gives you, you need to fit everything in that set of set of uh, parentheses. All right, start get going on that for me. Some of it's out of the textbook. Everyone should have uh, online access now. It's up on Classroom, the directions.